Today I am speaking to you about spiritual awakening and the role that our bodies play in that process. Everything that I'm about to tell you is experiential. So I am speaking to you from a place of knowing and not from a place of learning or hearsay. So what is the role that our bodies play in spiritual awakening? I am going to say that a spiritual awakening is always a physical experience. We may rationalize the process and describe it cognitively. For instance, describing a spiritual awakening would sound like this in words. Um, realizing that our experience is a projection, is not as real as we think. Spiritual awakening is realizing that the spirit, spirituality, divinity, the creator of force or God is inseparable from us, that we are basically God and not separate from God, like God is there, an entity, and we are here, but that it's one and the same thing. So a spiritual awakening, one becomes aware of the illusion of being separated, even if you only have it in little glimpses. Um, one becomes aware of, I want to say, the impermanence of what we are experiencing. And I almost want to say like the lightness of this world and the fleetingness of this world and the change, changeability of our reality when we become aware that we are in fact the God source. Now we may have these experiences in various increments because the understanding that comes through is so flippin' massive. It's so massive that the consciousness needs time to absorb the understanding of the like flip side of our existence. Okay, so we might describe what a spiritual awakening is and then teachers teach people it, it, it is like this, you know, this is all a projection, um, you are the div divine. And you may believe that from hearing it, but the way that the person becomes one with that knowledge gets to know for certain where it's not taught but known within the self. That process of the actual awakening in the person themselves is a deeply physical experience. It's not a cognitive experience. So um, we may learn from texts that spirituality, um, what it means, what the divine means, and, and believe a certain teacher and follow their teaching. But with many of us, through meditation, some people through plant medicine, um, mainly through meditation, people come to this inner realization within themselves or through themselves, of this enlightenment, this knowing, this knowledge. And it simply comes into the person without them needing to learn it. Okay, so what is the role of the body in spiritual awakening? We're just looking at that again. Um, you know, all the practices, um, spiritual practices, point us inwards. And often when we think we're working with spirituality, we are reaching up and out. We are trying to transcend. We are trying to change. We are trying to flip out. <laughs> um, 
which which so so the spirituality is, spirituality is always better up removed from us not attainable okay yet most teachings in fact point us inwards and that is this is the difficult part it is so difficult to believe that the divinity spirituality all love all light all of that could be like in me in you we we actually want to resist that we want to go up and out <laughs> we want to be better we want to go out <laughs> and the way that we do in fact have that final resolution of understanding of merging with the spirituality of finding when you're a seeker and you suddenly become a finder is when we go within and we realize ourselves as merged as part of this <laughs> truly magnificent divine light source that we are source okay so our conditioning wants to tell us no 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 we're not good enough no 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 <laughs> not you not your body not your body last not the body oh no 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 disgusting body and some religions even pull pull us away from our bodies oh no 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 not in the body yet when we meditate deep into the body that's where the realization this internal realization like poof, the aha moment happens now this is where my work comes in so when we say go within you can imagine you're going in, you're quieting the mind, you're going within, I'm going within. Within what? Within what? Okay. So we go into this being, this body, this you, this you, exactly as you are, with all your warts and freckles and, and things that are not perfect. This is where massive self-forgiveness, self-acceptance also comes in. We go in. We go in. I am enough. I am love. I am light. I am the divine. I forgive myself for being, <laughs> for being so full of turmoil within myself. I am good enough. And I go in and in and in and in. And Again, I want to say this is where my work comes in, is when we go in, we go into the body. Now, most of us are terribly removed from our body through conditioning, and we actually don't know how to go into our bodies. <laughs> um, we've been removed from our bodies. We've been told to ignore our bodies, to have shame around our bodies. So my work is about helping you to connect to your physical body to feeling your physical body i have this phrase how much can you feel that is the question that we're asking when we go within how much can i feel physical on a visceral visceral level and you will see in my other videos that um I recently did the Vipassana meditation, which is a Buddhist meditation, and it focuses on the sensations of the body that the dear Buddha gave us, sensations of the body, going within, feeling, no mind, no mind, just being like a child, simple, no expectations in the body, in the body, it's like raw matter, raw matter. We go in exactly as it is. And through that deep meditation of feeling of feeling the body there we have a massive massive spiritual awakening and for each person it trickles in in quantities that you can handle because to have a spiritual awakening is a big deal everything changes everything changes we are guiding you into your body in a very 
gentle way, helping you to feel on a visceral level as well as an emotional level. And that's how we come home, home, home and awaken, awaken, awaken to knowing the divine essence, the pure, pure, clear stream of consciousness that flows through every single one of us. It does exist in every single one of us. Have this potential to realize that through all the trauma, the up and down, the pain, the imperfection, past all of that, past all of that, when we feel deep, 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 deep into the body, eventually we come to the final resolution of like, oh my word, I am just this clear, divine light being connected to everything and everyone and i promise you people when i say this i often find it hard to believe because everything in this world is pulling us away from ourselves from our bodies we are constantly being made to even if we do it ourselves being made to feel insufficient not good enough we need to improve, we need to transcend. Whereas the true flip in consciousness happens when we basically come here, come here, be here, feel here, realize that now already you are the divine. You don't, obviously, you'll merge with the divine when you pass through this life, when you, when you let go and die in this life. You will merge with the divine, but you've never been separated from it. <laughs> so we all have the option to, within this lifetime or within our lifetimes, to um, have that resolution of realization of the divinity within. And I will say that I grew up as a Christian, but then stopped going to the church for a while because I had to figure it out for myself. Um, but now, the, when I'm in this meditation, when I feel all this flip of consciousness, of awareness within myself, when I see the world through a different lens, that change in consciousness when everything becomes really peaceful and beautiful, um, when I see that, then I understand you know, what the teachings are about the God within us. <laughs> The trilogy, the God within us, um, spirit, we're not separate from spirit, whatever we call spirit, you know, it's not a destination. <laughs> when we come home, when we come home, it all comes together, the resolution. And I also believe that we have the capacity, us who are here now, we can either carry on with our old trauma patterns only believing that the resolution happens when we die, pass, and we keep fighting and destroying, etc. Or we can realize that everything that we are doing, is we are doing this, we are doing this to ourselves. We are, we are the creator force, and within that, we, you know, in fact, hold so much power to bring love, to bring light, to to resolve all this conflict, not with more conflict, but to resolve it with peace, love, tranquility. Oh. And that's where it starts within ourselves. So our work <laughs> as individuals is to, within ourselves, realize ourselves. Every sing single person is like, Imagine this earth was an organism and we are all cells. Every little cell that realizes its own div divinity just creates more health around the planet. Mm. So there will either be a cancer that's eating itself with hate and wars and self-hatred and <sighs> difficulties, 
or there will be an internal shift within more and more and more and more and more people um, and every person that takes the responsibility within themselves to wake up now and not to wake up only when you die but basically wake up now sometimes they say you die before you die <laughs> realizing that you don't really die that you we, we, we are the divine life source energy um yeah so <laughs> that's a mouthful please ask me questions i would love to answer them and yeah this path uh, of awakening is very interesting it's a process. It's always a process. And I believe when we start meeting ourselves inside our bodies, then we start on the road to recovering ourselves, to meeting ourselves again, to awakening to ourselves. And the work that I am offering is really to help you on a very physical level to feel very deeply in your body because I know through experience and through my own process of awakening that we actually have no idea how much we can feel. Um, and uh, the, the, the guidance that I'm giving is to guide you like into that visceral feeling body and guide you deeper and deeper and deeper and allowing you to feel more and more and more. And the more you feel, the more you would awaken to yourself as the divine. Okay. And lastly, I just want to say, so the modalities that I work with is I basically work with your body and with your feeling body. And different aspects are going to resonate with different people depending on how far you are removed from feeling your body. So we are doing simple meditations, breath, visualizations, and then like a guidance into the body. So one is meditations. Then we're also doing like movements and dance movements where I take you deeper and deeper and deeper into the feeling body. This will resonate with a lot of people. And then I'll also work with the sexual body because the sexual body feels so much. And if we have resistance around ourselves as a sensual being, we have a problem getting in contact with our body. We have a problem feeling as deeply, so deep into our bodies. And Healing the sexual body is much more than only sex. It's not only about sex. It is using sex as the gate to get even deeper into your body, to drop shame, to connect with deeper and deeper and feeling, um, deeper and deeper feeling. And the sensuality, sexuality is really a super highway. But if you do embark on the journey of the sexual meeting of yourself inside yourself, um, you, you may become aware that the, the sexual part of it can become very distracting and <laughs> mesmerizing and one, often people get stuck in that layer. But it's maybe also okay as a process where you get stuck in that layer a little bit or you explore that layer of actual sexuality for a while. But what, what I am doing is through that sexual experience, I'm guiding you deeper and deeper into these deeper layers of feeling inside your body, which are almost uh, asexual. They're not, they're not like sex, like in the world. They're like igniting the internal spiritual chasm within oneself. Within oneself. Okay. Oof, that's a mouthful. <laughs> Please ask me questions. I'd love to answer them. And Lots of love to all of you and keep breathing and keep feeling. <laughs>